Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about, um, again, the law of cosines, uh, but how to find the angles when I know three sides of the triangle, right? And that's the only time that you can actually use the law of cosines is when you know all three sides. And remember, this is a non-right triangle, okay? So let's look at this particular triangle. We have triangle ABC, and um, we have sides of 12, uh, and it's usually would designate this uh, side of 12 as uh, opposite from whatever the large angle is. So if this is like C, it's, I didn't mean large angle, whatever angle it is. So if this angle is large C, this would be called, side would be called small C. If this angle is A, this side would be called small A. And if this angle is B, this side would be small B. Okay? Now, <clears throat> Normally, um, we would be looking for, let's look for line angle A here, okay? So, if we've got angle A, we are going to say, using the law of cosines, that A squared, if we're trying to find uh, this angle, that A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared, the other two sides, right, minus 2 and then you have to use these sides because uh, that's how the law works, BC, and then cosine of the angle A, all right? Now, let's go ahead and fill in what we know, all right? We know the following. We know that small a is 8, so 8 squared. is equal to b squared. b is opposite, so it's 10. Again, notice I am putting, whenever I place a variable, I put things in parentheses. Normally, it doesn't make too much difference, but when it's in a string here, it helps you to keep track of the multiplication. c squared opposite here would be, what, 12 squared? Minus 2 and then B, we said, was 10. And we said C is 12. And then the cosine of A, right? Now let's go ahead and calculate what we can here and simplify as much as possible. So now we have 64 is equal to 100 plus 144 minus what, 20 times 12? 20 times 12 is 240. I did that in my head, actually. Cosine A. Okay. Now we've got one fourth step. We have 64 is equal to 244 minus 240 cosine A. Now remember, use your PEMDAS to make sure you do these correctly. Multiplications first, right? Additions. Now let's go ahead and subtract 244 from 64. And you get a negative 180. So negative 180 is equal to a negative 240 cosine A. Okay, let's divide both sides by a negative 240, and you get a 0.75. And that would be positive, right? Because a negative divided by a negative. So you get 0.75 is equal to cosine a. Now let me just rewrite this quickly here. So I'm going to say cosine A is equal to a negative, or excuse me, a positive 0.75. Now remember we have to take the inverse function, so let's multiply both sides by the inverse function. And that would basically cross these out, and you're left with cosine A, or just A rather, the angle A is equal to the um, inverse cosine 
of 0.75 and that is going to be let me just go ahead and do this quickly and that's going to be 41.4 Okay, so now we have this angle as 41.4 degrees. And then you can just go ahead and use the law of sines um, or any other uh, trick you have in your book to figure out the rest of these. Okay, I hope that was helpful to you.